All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy Chris, and uh, man, I just want to—I would just want to take a moment right now, man, to talk about. Yesterday, I made a video um, talking about Kellen Moore and you know him being fired or this new term they use when they like people. They mutually agreed to part ways. Yeah, okay. And nobody gonna mutually agree to be unemployed, um, which he's not. He got picked up immediately by um, the the Chargers. Which goes, which tells you if the Charger offense look really good next year, well, maybe it wasn't Kellen Moore. But anyway, we'll get done when we get done. But I want to stop for a minute. I want to talk about the fact that what you seen last night, guys, with the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones and 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 this little thing they, this little scheme they plotted, it's the perfect example of what's wrong. With the Dallas Cowboys. It was almost simultaneously with the Eagles winning and the Cowboys dropping news. Because rather than win, rather than be focused on winning, baby, we got to get these headlines. We need attention all on us. And that's great. That's great for Jerry Jones' pocket. That's great for the status of the Cowboys. You look at that. And listen, I'm a Cowboy fan, so I don't have no love for the Eagles. It is what it is. Shout out to their fan base and shout out to them for getting to the point that they got because they made the damn decisions and the right um, the right calls and they went all in and they got them a championship. They got themselves a, ch a chance at a championship. They done it the right way. They put their chips in the middle of the table. They did what they were supposed to do. So salute to them. But when you watch this and you seen the little move, and you gonna, there's no way you can tell me it was a coincidence. And that said, the fact that someone sat there and plotted that move to say, you know what, hey, 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 right after the championship game, drop it. Right after the championship game, drop it. So attention, so get some Cowboys attention, get some Cowboys attention. The attention should be on winning. See. You ever heard the term, if you focus on too many things, you're focused on nothing? The Cowboys want to have the best uh, uh, the best stadium, the most attractions. You know, let's get everybody at the stadium. Let's show them a good time. You know, let's steal the headlines. Let's get everybody talking about us. Oh, let's get the biggest ratings. Oh, let's get everything except winning games. I'm almost at a point where I feel like the Cowboys have made a decision in their mind that if we don't win, it's okay as long as everybody talking about us. See, that's great if you're not in a competition. The football is a competition. So it's great in in in, in for companies um or, or let, let, let's let's let break it down. Let's even talk about artists, music artists and, and stuff like that. You know, they might not have the hottest song. But they go out and do something, and everybody talking up. Now they talk of the street, then they can boom drop a little album on them, boom drop a little song on them. You know that works well. That that that's the game. See, I need the attention, the notoriety. I need everyone looking at me, cause I got something. I got something to say. Come on, come on. I need I need to do something to get your attention so you can look at me, and that works well, except in sports. Because the problem is, when everyone's looking at you, when you've done all these little dumb games to get the attention of everybody, so everybody can talk about you, when, when they really look at you and look at your team and you ain't done nothing, now they're just looking at you like an idiot. But it's okay, though. It's okay. Stephen A. Smith can have his fun. They can laugh at Cowboys. You literally had somebody who said the Dallas Cowboy fan base is the most nauseating, the most pathetic, whatever all these little dumb terms he used. You literally had him as the guy that was breaking opening the season for the Cowboys. And I made a video about that because that really teed me off. Because I'm like, this guy don't this guy sit here and talk about the very people that sit here and buy your merchandise, support, support your team. And go with these cowboys through thick and thin, and he makes fun of them. And he's the guy that's on your private jet, right? He, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me not be disrespectful. Yeah, helicopter. 
him. Oh, and all of that, and guess what? Guess what? Time the cowboy lose. It's a party. <laughs> we're damn near just being used by you. We're, we're almost like pawns. It's like we don't care. You don't care about us. You don't care about the fact that Cowboy Nation, I can't even walk in the store to get some, some milk without somebody seeing me in a cowboy hat and then like, <laughs> hey, man. hey. I, I was at, I was, I walked, I walked to my office today, walked past one of the security guards, and he was like, hmm, man, I feel sorry for you, man. I already know how you feel, man. It got to suck for you, don't it? Yeah, it does. It does. Thank you, Jerry Jones. And now, this whole, the Cowboys are cleaning house. No, they're not. No, they're not. Jerry Jones is trying to do enough to give Mike McCarthy the rope to hang yourself. You know why? So that... He can literally replace him with Dan Quinn. But if you're Dan Quinn and you're sitting back watching this, why in the hell would you stay? Huh? Be real now. You seen the games he playing with the guy that, that got the job he want to give you. It's all a game and you're watching him play the game. And you're going to buy into that? Because th this is the problem. And I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it because ain't nobody else going to say it. I ain't waiting on everybody else to say it because they just going to boot Nick. So let's go ahead and have a conversation. If he can do that to Mike McCarthy while watching Dan Quinn, which pretty much the same thing he did to Wade Phillip with Jason Garrett, it's all a game. There's no way in the hell you would go into this situation trusting Jerry Jones. Why? You're watching the games he played. You're seeing it. See, the, the, the mask is being pulled over everybody's head right now. Oh, man, Mike McCarthy got full range now. Mike McCarthy got full range. If Jimmy Johnson and Bill Partell could not get full range of the Cowboys, what the hell make you think Mike McCarthy going to do it, huh? Come on, man. Think about it. Think. It's all a game. It's all a game. And the problem is, the problem with the game is, you got diehard Dallas Cowboy fans like myself that ride and ride and ride with this team to the point that we almost know what's going to happen. Go back and look at my videos. What do I? What did I say at the beginning of the season? They do just enough for you to think this might be it. Man, they might have turned the corner. Man, they might do it. And then every time. Last night showed you what it was about. Now, you can believe them or not, but... As long as they get the headlines. As long as they the most profitable team in football. Or, I'm sorry, in sports. Mm. Yep. This is the life of a Cowboy fan. I'm just going to speak the truth on this channel. And I ain't, finna, I ain't finna just sit here and say what you want to hear. I'm going to say what needs to be said. With that being said, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Until next time, you guys be great.